Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. This is Mandy and I'm going to do a tumbler with you. We were making this for a Christmas gift so I thought we might as well share it. So I flat coated the cup with black spray paint and I'm just putting a clear layer of epoxy on the tumbler just to help everything move around. My husband brought in some extra epoxy that he had left over and it was way more than I really needed for this cup so just please note that the amount of epoxy you see me putting on the cup as we lay, layer the colors on is really entirely too much. And some of it ends up kind of dripping off and whatever. But um, the person we're making this cup for likes purple, pink, and red. So naturally, I busted out the color art. Everything that we're using today, with the exception of one, is a color art resin art pigment. We are also using Crimson Lust, which is a bling it color, and you can use bling it in resin or acrylic. So I have listed the colors below. There's also a discount code below for anything that you purchase on the Color Art website um, using Mandy1120. That includes, you know, Color Art primary elements, Prism Pour, Resin Art, Bling It, all of the things. So don't forget to take advantage of that. So now that we have our base layer on, I'm just going to um, layer the colors and I'm kind of putting them horizontal but I have put them diagonally before it just kind of is a matter of what your preference is. So the first color I'm coming in with is Andromeda which is a resin art pigment and it's part of the luster set so they're very very sparkly. I like to put these kind of as the base layer because it almost looks like a little glitter you know it's very sparkly and this one is like a blue violet color. I kind of wish I had saved some of this for the top because by the time I put, that's the beautiful color, by the time I put all of the colors on, um, it was <laughs> it was kind of hidden underneath all of the other colors. And I think that this would have added some nice blue-violet contrast to the other colors. Um, but it is what it is. I put it down as the base layer and I ended up using way too much resin. So it ends up getting mostly covered up. But you can see how beautiful it is. I used this color on the most recent Tumblr video I did um, a while back where I did the blues and the teal. So anyway, so super gorgeous color. So this is our first layer. And now this is Crimson Lust. This is a beautiful, beautiful red. So this is a bling it color. This is part of the Ancient Treasures set. And it, it, this one can be used in acrylic or in resin. So it's really, really beautiful. Um, while this is a really just beautiful red, against some of these other colors, it ends up looking kind of like an orangey red. It's really not. Um, but, oh, I forgot about a color I used. Um, sorry, mental note. But I really love this color. I did mix up a little bit too much of it, so I was trying to use it all, but it was just a lot of it. But it's a beautiful color. Um, this is one of my favorite reds to use in acrylic painting as well. So I'm just putting it on, letting it spin off uh, or spin around the cup. Um, at this point, the, this epoxy has been sitting for a while, so it's really thick. So I'm torching every so often, but I, I'm careful to not overheat it because I know it's getting closer to the time when it wants to cure. So this color up next is called Puppy Love. This is a resin art pigment and it's kind of got a satin pearl finish. It's so beautiful. And it's a nice juicy hot pink. It's a really beautiful color. I've used this one on like a Milky Way tumbler in some earlier videos just for a pop of color. And it's a really beautiful color. Because we have a dark background, it kind of looks like a corally pink. Um, but it's not really. So this color is Purple Galaxy. It's a very sparkly color like the Andromeda is. Only it's, it's less blue and more purple. Sorry if you guys can hear my phone notifications. So we're just spreading it around and my logic when I'm doing this is 
trying to find places where we kind of need the contrast because maybe I put down too much of the red and the pink. So now I'm torching it a little bit just to let it blend a little bit, um, but I don't want to torch too much. Now this color here, I really love this color. That one is called Purple Sapphire. And again, it's just a super beautiful color. It sort of has kind of a fuchsia undertone. So it blends really nicely with these colors. So now I'm just kind of filling in the blanks with this color. And as you can see, the colors are starting to swirl and flow together. You can see some bubbles because I have too much epoxy on. So we're just getting all of that stuff covered. The edges sometimes like to be difficult to cover at the top. So sometimes I just go over that with extra color. And I really think these are so very beautiful. So we're just adding some extra where we have maybe the need for some contrast, where we have big chunks of color I love this color. I think it's so beautiful. It also looks really pretty with like fall colors. This color is pomegranate. This is also a resin art pigment. Super beautiful. It's a beautiful, deep, rich red. I love it so much. So um, now we're just kind of adding that one in where we need some, some more contrast. And this gives us both kind of a bright red and a deep red. So great for balance, great for contrast. Sorry about the glare of the light. It's kind of hard to avoid that with resin. And you can see some of those giant bubbles. Don't worry, I'm going to torch them out. But when your resin's getting too hot, <clears throat> excuse me, if you torch too much, you can burn your resin and it'll move too quickly there's more pink mink this is a beautiful pink mink color it's a bright hot pink it's one of those luster pigments so it's very sparkly um, but if you torch too much when it's already kind of getting too hot you can actually make it cure too fast and you can make it too hot where it like bubbles and gets really difficult to work with so um, even though I can see the bubbles I'm kind of waiting to torch them until we get closer to the end so if you're seeing that bubble and you're getting anxious, don't worry, I'm going to get it. So, I mean, you can see how beautiful these colors are. This color, I think, would look really good right up next to that Andromeda color, which I've kind of buried at this point. So if I were to do this cup again, I think I would save some of that Andromeda to put next to that pink mink, because that pop of pink next to that blue violet color would be really really beautiful so we're just filling in some spaces we obviously have plenty of epoxy already on the cup but i already mixed it up so i didn't want to waste it so i just figured i would balance out where we maybe needed some more color or we needed some more contrast or whatever And I significantly sped this up for obvious reasons. It would be probably pretty boring for you if I did a voiceover and this was super long. So I sped it up substantially. And um, I'm not going to show you the finished product because I'm not going to take you through the resin process and all that stuff. I mean the decal process and all that. So this is just a pretty basic tutorial for you. So you can see now though, as this has been turning, we're starting to see some good swirl. So what I did is I torched it really nicely. And right now it looks kind of busy because we have a lot of epoxy on the turner. Um, but I torched it, I turned off the camera and I let it spin for a little bit. And it kind of evens out a little bit. Some of the excess epoxy you can probably see is dripping off the bottom so it kind of helps pull some of this extra color um, and some of it actually ends up running off 
And some of it may be more than I wanted, but it kind of makes it look a little bit less busy in the end. So I'm going to bring you in for a close up up here next. But uh, thanks for sharing the process with me. And don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Obviously, I don't always do tumblers on this channel, but I try to share pretty much whatever I'm doing with you guys. And uh, the colors are pretty magical. So here comes our close up. Sorry about my my. Sorry if you guys could hear my dog snort. But here anyway is our close up. You can see how beautifully the colors kind of gelled together. Obviously a lot of our color did drip off, but still really beautiful. They make noise. Here comes my dog again. He may make some noise. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you like the colors together? Do you like the way it turned out? I uh, appreciate you guys joining in the journey with me. Uh, have a great day. Talk to you soon.